It's James Larson here, KRNA Morning Show 817 here on Thursday, April the 20th. Don't forget, we got Thirsty Thursday with the Colonels tonight. Join myself and producer Mike out at Perfect Game Field. In the studio, we have Emily Weirs from the Weirs Auction House, and she is also on Annie's Storage Wars. So let's talk about how you got into this crazy business. And obviously your father had something to do with it and your mother, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah. I was born into it. I mean, my dad's been doing this since before I was born. He went to auction school when um, he was 17 and I went to auction school when I was 17. So um, before that, I was working in the business, but I was just doing, you know, odd jobs. I was carrying out boxes when I was really little. I was clerking on our computer system and stuff like that. But then, like I said, when I was 17, I went to auction school and really learned how the basics of building a chant. Um, and then when I came home, I got put up on the auction block and so started that's selling. So that's what they call it, a chant, the, your, your, yep. your, your, your pitch, I guess, or your spiel. Yep. Because yep. everybody thinks of an auctioneer, they go, hey, bada, 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 swing, bada, bada, you know, that kind of a yeah. canter, if yeah. you will. <laughs> Hey, and, uh, other people, <laughs> other people call it your cry. So they're like, are you going to cry today? I was oh, like, okay, okay, that doesn't sound very good, but, chant. but I call it a chant. Yeah, okay. that's Can you it, auction yeah. anything? Cars? You know, I, I used to go to a lot of car auctions back in the day. Could you do a car auction if you had to? Um, yeah. I mean, I've sold cars before. The, the format of a car auction is pretty intense and pretty different. It would take me a while to just, you know, jump up on the block right, and sell yeah. like they do. And I'm not as familiar with, you know, make and model and all that kind of stuff and value of cars as I am typically with like antiques and personal right, property like okay. we sell on every weekend but mm -hmm. i mean we do sell a lot of cars and i could as far as physically being able to do the chant i could sell anything it, it but. would be like me hosting a country music show yeah you could do I it i could but do it but i wouldn't enjoy it oh come on <laughs> i wouldn't enjoy it bro so don't what's get your favorite ideas. what's your favorite type of stuff to auction off is it antiques and personal possessions and things um, like that? Probably just because that's what I'm most familiar with. And so as far as just comfort level, yeah. I, you know, I I like it and it's, it's easy and it's fun for me. Um, farm machinery is kind of fun, too, just because it's a whole other level. You know, sure. we're obviously talking higher dollars big tickets, yeah. and big ticket items and, you know, different kind of crowds. Sometimes the antique buyers get a little you know, lethargic and they're because they tend yeah. to be the same people and over and over. But lots of times with the farm auction, you're getting farmers who don't, you know, who need oh, a piece of equipment. Out, they're yep. not there to just, you know, get a steal. They want to buy right. this tractor or whatever. So that's kind of fun too. You get a different vibe at a farm auction. Cool. Cool. So Weirs. you were talking, you could pretty much auction anything. Yeah. I mean, and, and James, you, you, I've got a banana. You were here. laughing at my, Hey, batter, batter. But, uh, you know, I heard you oh, trying man. to do a little auctioning a, a bit ago, too. Why don't you? You've got bananas here. I have bananas that I brought in that I'm sharing with everybody, including Girl Friday, if you want one of these. You want me to try? So I'll, 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 I'll love, go first. I would love to hear you uh, go up against Emily Weirs, a professional auctioneer, auction off that banana. Hey, everybody, go get this nice dull banana. It's very yellow. It's very clean. It's very good. Ah, oh, we'll start the bidding off at $5. Five. Give me $5. Hey, $6. Hey, $7 over here. $7 <laughs> over here. Dull banana. $8. I got $8. Anybody want to give me nine fifty oh. over there with the guy in the purple hat? Wow. How, that's that, nice. Honestly, that was good one of follow. the better... One of the better imitations I've ever heard. Usually it's just like, there's no other words. That's all. So. Well, I'm going to pass the baton. And the, the salesmanship. Baton. I just have to say, great job. And I got the great little job. guy with the green hat. I'm going to pass the baton yeah. to you. That's, okay. a, that's the, banana. the banana. I'm going to pass the banana to you. I'll okay. count you down here. I'll give you the countdown. Here we go. In three, Ooh. two, beep. And twenty five divided by twenty five and thirty divided by twenty five and thirty by thirty by thirty by thirty divided by thirty by thirty forty by thirty five hundred dollar bill now quarter now hundred and thirty by thirty one twenty five hundred and fifty divided by thirty one fifty seventy five now two hundred divided by thirty two and one hundred seventy five two now quarter now two hundred and twenty five divided by thirty two hundred and twenty five at two hundred and twenty five divided by thirty two 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 and a quarter by thirty two hundred and twenty five divided by thirty two and a quarter by thirty two hundred and fifty divided by thirty two and a quarter by thirty two hundred and fifty anybody else sold it to you two hundred and twenty five dollars that you just paid phenomenal you just paid a deuce and a quarter for a twenty nine cent banana yeah I know right yeah exactly let's get rid of this banana here. Emily, where's that? was awesome. That was awesome. Thanks. Does that take practice? Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And how do you roll the tongue? Like, eh, 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 that, eh. I, I, I mean, I can't explain it. Yeah, I know. It's that's just a like, weird question. That would be. I have, a, I have a quick question. When you turned 17, mm -hmm. was it something that your dad kind of gently nudged you into? Or is that something that you're like, Dad, I want to get behind that microphone. I love it. No, it was not. It was a nudge. It was, it was a, a nudge. push. It oh, was it a, was. It was. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I had, like I said, I'd been in the business forever and it kind of seemed, it was probably a natural progression to my dad. Not so, not so much to me. I was in music and I was a singer and I loved to sing. I was planning on going into music in college. Um, but he was, you know, he needed help. He wanted to have another yeah. auctioneer and it just, 
I was there every weekend anyways, and I was there with my cousin also went to auction school with me. So we both went and learned the chant, basically hoping that if needed, we could take over for dad and give him a break once in a while. And it turned into something obviously way bigger for me. Very sweet. And um, I just had another thought. Uh, when it comes to this auctioneering business, uh, is this something that you would like to continue on as your dad might get close to retirement age? You think that that would be a comfortable step for you? Or is this going to mean... A move to Hollywood. Yeah, I wanted to ask that same question. Where do you see yourself after all well, this? Well, number one, my dad's never going to retire. He's going to die in his desk chair someday. We discussed this the other day. It's, yeah, it's fog, true. Fog, yeah. Fog. Uh, seriously, yeah. It's just like, yeah. No, but I already am full-time in the business. I work with my dad full-time. I'm in there. I mean, I'm going there right now after this auction. I have 10 auctions online right now that I'm managing. Wow. I have taken over our online auction division which is kind of ironic because there's actually no bid calling component at all right. with our onlines. It's basically eBay style, mm -hmm. but that is becoming a huge part of our business. It's actually this past year was the first year we did more online auctions than we did live auctions on sure. site. You know, the live that outcry. Makes, that makes sense. That's the way the world's going. Yeah. So um, I'm going to continue with that. And I have no intentions to move to Hollywood. Los Angeles is not for me. Let's just say that. Um, yeah, no, I hear you. I spent some it's time very out there fun too. It's to fun go to visit. and visit and be there and experience it. But oh yeah. my gosh, the because traffic. You're kind of a unique uh, individual in the sense that there's not a lot of female auctioneers out there. Yeah. And I never knew that. I mean, I've seen male auctioneers all my yeah. life at farm yeah. auctions and things yeah, like exactly. that. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Well, if you can hang around for one more break, if it's all right with you guys, Mike, and let's yeah. take a, let's take a quick break. I want to ask uh, what it was like growing up in Solon. I want to talk about <laughs> the new traffic light, and I want to have her do one more auction because that was fun. But we're going to just have one more break with Emily, sure. so don't go too far. This is the KRNA Morning Show.